Arab army achieves progress in the south and maintains control over dozens of villages in the north. In occupied Syrian Golan, Israeli occupation arrests two Syrian citizens from the villages of Bukata and Mizdal Shams. And the new evidence on the role of Erdogan's regime as an exporter of terrorists in Syria. Afternoon. Minister of Foreign Affairs and expatriates Walid al Muallam received the Turkish party's delegation, which is composed of political and economic Turkish figures. The minister asserted in the meeting that the Turkish government has wrongly interpreted the situation in the region, adding that Erdogan's government took negative stances that don't serve the Syrian and Turkish peoples. As part of the repressive policy and the provocations against our people in the occupied Syrian Golan, the Israeli occupation forces arrested two Syrian citizens from the two occupied villages of Bukata and Mejd al Shemis. Israeli forces of occupation arrested Sheikh Atif Ali Darwish from the village of Bukata and the recently freed prisoner Fida Mejd al Sha'ir in Mejd al Shems after raiding the area of Rejm al Said after eliminating the last gathering of Al Nusra. A Syrian Arab army unit also destroyed a hideout of the terrorists, killing many of them in the town of Atman in Dara's countryside. In cooperation with the People's Defense Unit, Syrian Arab Army maintained full control over 33 villages and farms in Al Hasaka's northeastern countryside, expelling ISIS terrorists from the area. With heavy artillery, Syrian Arab Army units pounded the hideouts of ISIS terrorists who were committing vicious crimes against the citizens in Al Hasaka, as many Takfir mercenaries infiltrated from Turkey, receiving support from Erdogan's regime. Meanwhile, a Syrian Arab Army unit eliminated to the number of terrorist leaders targeting one of their hideouts near the village of Al Bashiriya in Jusr al-Shughur. Syrian Arab army units have repelled an attack by terrorist gangs along Al Zalakiyat, Al Masafna, Al Buwaydiya in Hamas countryside and killed scores, some of whom are non Syrians. Among the killed are the commander of the so called the Regiment of Sukur Al Ghab and others from the Islamic Front and Al Nusra. Anti tank machine guns and cannons were also destroyed by the army's units in Al Lahya village and south of Al Latamna. Other army units have killed tens of terrorists along Al Rabia Al Hilwa Road in Al Roda and Durshan areas and Karaf. Fi mountain in Latakia's northern countryside. Two dens have also been destroyed with altars inside in Al Atareb in Aleppo's countryside. In Homs countryside, the army foiled a terrorist attempt to blow up explosive devices they had earlier planted in eastern Palmyra city. A certain Arab army unit found 10 explosive devices planted inside water channels and under bridges in the area. The explosive devices were successfully dismantled without causing any damage. They weighed 25 to 40 kilograms and had been prepared to be remotely detonated. Takfir organizations' websites have stated that more than 80 terrorists from Hazem Movement and Al Nusra have been killed in fierce confrontations between the two sides in Aleppo. Terrorist Hazem organization has declared that it has joined the terrorist movement Ahrar al Sham after its stronghold has been besieged by Al Nusra in Atareb in Aleppo, and a number of its terrorists have been detained, while many others have fled. Further evidence has been unveiled by Turkish media outlets on the vicious and sinister role being played by Erdogan's regime that has not stopped helping terrorists infiltrate into the Syrian inland, proving that Erdogan's regime has turned Turkey into a hub for receiving and exporting terrorists to Syria 
to perpetrate the most heinous crimes against the Syrian people. Turkish media have broadcast footage of the three British female teenagers while awaiting inside offices of the two bus companies at a station to be moved later to Urfa city, close to the Syrian border to join ISIS. News indicated that this has been carried out under the hearing and seeing of the Turkish authorities, Syria asserting that they managed to do that backed by the Turkish regime. It is to be noted that the footage has been broadcast two days after the Canadian government has admitted that between three to six Canadian young men infiltrated to Syria mid-January via Turkey to join ISIS. With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Serena, but after a short break.